G'day guys, Sparky Dave here. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons to show your support for this channel. In today's video, I will demonstrate how to work with RG6 coaxial cable. Radio Guide 6 or RG6 is the cable used in modern homes for Sky and Freeview television setups. The product used in today's video is certified for UHF, digital satellite and high definition applications to 3 GHz. RG6 coaxial cables have four distinct parts. In the centre of this particular cable is a solid copper covered steel conductor. The solid conductor is separated from the woven metallic braid shielding by a white dielectric insulator. Protecting these materials is a black plastic outer jacket that is rated for use both indoors and outdoors. On each RG6 cable end we need to attach F-type connectors. In the field we use compression fittings. I would avoid using twist on F-type connectors as these have a weak and unsecure connection. Remember that most F-type connections are not water resistant and should be installed in an appropriate watertight container if used outdoors. In order to work efficiently with RG6 cable, I recommend using the following two tools. Firstly, a coax cable stripper. And secondly, a RG6 F-type compression tool. To start off, insert the cable end into the RG6 side of the coax cable stripper. It should sit flush inside the cable stripper with the larger internal blade towards the cable end. Rotate the cable stripper around the cable two full times. Once the second rotation is completed, hold the cable and physically pull the cable stripper away from the cable. The end of the cable should be stripped to the perfect length with no additional metallic braiding breaking off the cable if done properly. Next, fold back the braiding over the outer sheath. Insert the F-type compression end onto the cable. The F-type connector's screw thread faces away from the cable. Press by hand until the white dielectric insulating material is flush with the base of the screw thread inside the connector. Once flush, check to ensure the white dielectric material is free from any broken braids or foil making contact with the inner core. The connector can now be placed into the compression tool. Squeeze the handle on the tool all the way down and release. If using these specified tools, the inner core will be the perfect length as shown. If not, then trim the core back to ensure it does not extend too far outside of the connector end. This video is the very first of a variety of how-to TV and antenna related content coming soon here on Sparky Dave. Thanks for watching everyone.